as a father myself, I want to keep my children fed. And I was thinking back in my head, I was saying, what's, what's going on in the community? What's going on in Sampson County? You know, they still have power. Uh, some of the water still isn't potable. They're not able to drink it. They're not able to bathe in it. So one of the things I, I, I wanted to do was make sure that we feed our community. Well, we have a few commu a free community uh, donation-based cookout going on. About 10 o'clock that morning, guys, sent a text message out to a lot of our community and said, hey, what do you guys think about doing a, a, a free community cookout? Um, you know, donation base, anybody can bring, you know, whether they like clothes, canned goods, whatever you like to bring. And it was a pretty good response overall. Residents um, and anybody that can make it here. Um, so if you're coming from Fayetteville, if you're coming from Wilmington, Lumberton, Wilmington, wherever you're coming from, you know, bring your family, bring your kids, bring your neighbors. We got enough food to supply you until we run out. 1,700 pounds of food later, we fed about 650 people, and it's a blessing to be here now. Chef Ben, as he's called a true hero this week, uh, the owners of Ribeye's Restaurant, I guess that he calls you a boss, but you gave him a lot of powers. Kristen Trey Cummings, uh, tell me about the phone call Ben made and what he proposed to you while you were out of town on the trip. He pretty much just said, you know, people got to eat. And, you know, we were at a point where we knew we were going to have to throw some food away because we didn't have any type of uh, way to keep it cold. And he was just ready to do something. He gets empowered. He gets his you know, I want to help people, I want to do it, and that's just how he is, that's just who he is as a person. Um, generally, he gets, you know, everybody riled up and wants to be excited about helping. So. It, Trey, it's easier just to stay home. We were flooded out, washed out, powered out, uh, but your team came in. Yeah, that was surprising. <laughs> I, I, it is surprising, and it is, it's noteworthy, but it must be a way you run your business. What's your philosophy? It's family. I mean, it's all family here. You know, once you once you become part of the family, you're you're it for good. We've got a lot of just great people that have been here for a really long time that have really helped build the business just as much as we have, because it's a part of the, the philosophy and the community here. Um, you know, our doors always open for any of our staff, anything we can ever do for them. Uh, and so I guess they came together for us on this one. You know. Where do you see it going with the local economy here? Because a lot of people, it's uh, nothing causes a local recession like a local disaster. How do you, what's your expectations? Uh, I think everybody will come together and pull it off. I mean, we'll, we'll be all right. I think as long as everybody keeps doing kind of similar things to what we're doing, then everybody will come together and pull it off. What's been feedback around business owners talking in these towns? Kristen, is everything okay or? I mean, I think there's not been a whole lot of specific damages to the businesses themselves. Obviously, without having power and stuff, it's hurt because you haven't been able to be in operation. But um, I think ultimately, I think Trey's right. We have we have been very, very blessed to have the type of come together, everybody help each other out, you know, town. And that's why we love living here is because of the, the mentality of that. And, the, um, you know, as being out of towners trying to open a business, we were welcomed. I mean, we opened on a Thursday and by that Sunday I had been invited to like five churches. You know, I mean, that's just the type of people that live in this area is that everybody does work together. And um, it's a community to, to be successful as, as each other, you know, and it's nice to have friends in the businesses and different businesses in the area that have always been supportive of us and, you know, so I think I think we'll be fine. I really do. Oh, yeah. Once they get the roads taken care of and everybody can get around, everything will be fine. Is the roads are the problem, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it just seems like, is, it, is that more of a nuisance than a safety issue? I mean, I... I think it's been a big safety issue. We've, I mean, as far as I know, um, and I, I haven't been out roaming the roads or anything, but I've heard through Facebook or friends and stuff that we've, you know, we've got a decent amount of areas that have been washed out, um, dams that, you know, kind of made it impossible to get through roads. And so I think it was a safety issue. We had curfew for a couple nights because of it. They, you know, advise people do not get out, do not do anything. Um, and hopefully most people were smart enough to listen to sure. the it's chief and tell them. <laughs> we'll see. You, you guys, your team put the marker down. You, you, you gave away what I read in the Samson Independent, $20,000 worth oh, of food. I mean, 600 six, meals. Between uh, six and 700 meals. We weren't anticipating that. No. <laughs> we were thinking maybe we'd serve 100 people. But, why, you know, why not, though? Yeah. I mean, yeah. would you pay for insurance? It's uh, sad you know. to think that, you know, people didn't have a way to have any type of food or anything, and we had it, and it was going to go bad, so what do you do? You Are know? you used to serving 600 meals a day? <laughs> no, no. I mean, no, you know, no. restaurants come and go, you see tables come and go, I, I, I have no concept of it. So this was, a, this was a blowout business day for you, except it was public service, right? Right. Well, I mean, like I said, we were going to have to throw it away anyway. They were telling us we weren't going to have power till Friday, um, and so there was no need to wait until Friday or Saturday to see if we had power to throw away food that was bad. So while it was still good, get rid of it. Well, that's our team. I mean, Ben, 100% give Ben so much credit for the idea and for getting the, but I'll tell you the God honest truth, they love him. Our staff 
genuinely respects and loves him. And so when he said, hey, don't you want to do this? Like, it doesn't surprise me that they didn't just jump and do it because that's just the kind of guy he is. And we try to make it as the owners a place where people can feel comfortable and that want to come to work. You know, I mean, obviously we, we're the behind the scenes at this point. We're like, we weren't even in town. We were extremely happy with the call and glad that it worked out well the way it did. But really Ben, you know, Ben kind of facilitated it along with, you know, Eric and Nicole and Trey Shell. And I mean, there were so many people that are just genuinely good people that work here that just volunteered their time. So you if know, you're a business owner, I know that this, I mean, Eastern North Carolina will have higher water countywide probably in some kinds than you ever saw in Clinton itself. So if you're a small business owner out there, it's going to be a rough couple of days, couple rough week. What do you say to them if you can help? Should you? You worry about your business first. What would you say to someone who might be sitting there going, no, "Oh my god, help"? I mean, you know, if it's like I said, if you're going to throw it away in a day or two because you know you can't use it, go ahead and give it away now. I mean, you might as well. Well, and I just think, like, we try to do. We really think it, if you can't do something nice to help everybody else, like. Granted, you want to be able to pay your own bills, mm -hmm. and if you can't pay your own bills, then that's an issue in itself. But I mean, um, hopefully everything will work out where we, you know, can still have. We'll, we're open today. You know, we'll continue to be open, and you know, we've been open for ten years. Hopefully, we've got another fifty years in it. You know, but to try to give your heart and help out a little bit, even if it's just, you know, I mean, we, when we left, we said we're going to be out of town. If anybody comes out of power and we have power at our house, like to our staff, like come take a shower at our house, do whatever you can, because I, I just don't see the point in not. Well, the way it basically is, the community has fed our kids, so it was time to feed some people, you know, since we could, yeah. and nobody else was, so. Well, our team appreciates your hospitality. It's uh, been nice of you to open your doors to us. You're just getting back into business and getting rolling again. Thank you so much, Kristen and Trey. I appreciate it.